Today's the first day of spring, and the Miami Valley has already seen a couple of tornadoes this year. With warmer weather ahead this spring, you can take precautions right now that will help you to be ready if severe weather strikes. Storm Team 2 meteorologist Cameron Saliga is kicking off Severe Weather Awareness Week, talking about how to prepare for strong storms new on 5 on 2. Severe weather has already struck this year in the Miami Valley, but the main season is yet to come and preparing ahead of time could save your life. Severe weather season is here and you should have a plan in place in case it strikes. First, you should know the difference between a watch and warning. Using a cake analogy, a watch means you have the ingredients for the cake or severe weather. Watches are issued hours in advance. A warning is a finished cake. The ingredients have come together. And just like in a warning, severe weather is imminent. When a warning is issued, it is important to know where to shelter. The best place to shelter is a basement, but not every home has one. You should avoid windows and outside walls and should cover yourself with a mattress in the most interior room on the lowest level of the home. It is important to not only know what to do, but practice and communicate that with your family. When it's happening, you know, your adrenaline's gonna be flowing and it may you, you may be scared. So if you've practiced, you will go automatically. If severe weather strikes, it is very important to have a kit prepared to get you through the days following, including the two most important items, food and water. Definitely uh, food and water, enough to last three days, and that'll be food that doesn't need cooked that you can eat, you know, just right out of the can, you know, with a pop top can or out of a bag or something like that. You should have multiple ways of receiving your watches and warnings. You can get them sent straight to your phone through the Storm Team 2 weather app. In Washington Township, meteorologist Cameron Saliga, 2 News.